Absolutely. I mean, each day that I'm holding the group, I'm also doing the work myself. I'm holding myself. I'm noticing what I notice. I'm noticing what beliefs are coming up and which ones are limiting and which ones are kind of crazy and which ones are fanciful and which ones are new. And I'm being curious about them. I'm noticing when I'm having my own reactions. I mean, I'm a product of my own back background, my own story, my own society. You know, so all, I don't know that you ever get to the end of filtering through, you know, all of that. Um, I'm a Oprah baby. You know, I grew up watching Oprah and one of the biggest things that I felt I learned from her was that it was um, a journey of discovery that was always renewed. There's always something to learn about me through every interaction I have with somebody else. And, and that's how I think this stays alive and vibrant because it's alive in me. It's not something that gets um, printed out and put in a binder and then the next time I do it I just, you know, read all the notes um, from the binder and say, oh, it says to say this now and to have this reaction now. It's not a script. It is so not a script. This retreat, every evening I redesign what happens next. I have an idea of what the scene, how it needs to progress. But every night, based on the conversation, based on the participants, based on the mood, based on the discoveries, based on how I'm feeling, I completely redesign the next day. That's to honor the fact that this is something intensely unique for each individual. That's why I interview everybody. It's why we do the preparatory work and the coaching. And it, I think it's why it is still a passion for me. Because each time I do it, it's new. <laughs>